New at six, it's been a busy weekend for fire departments across southern New England. Many have been responding to calls relating to the weather. NBC 10's Katie Benoit joins us live from North Kingstown, where officials say the cold caused gallons of oil to leak onto a road. Katie. Hey Sam, a dry bridge road was closed down for a couple of hours while crews cleaned up the mess. It opened just about an hour ago. Now the North Kingstown Fire Department tells me they've responded to multiple calls today for broken pipes. Crews on dry bridge road work to put down sand and other absorbing materials as about 20 gallons of oil and 100 gallons of water spilled onto the road. We found a oil truck, um, home heating oil truck that was at a repair facility here that um, in all likelihood due to the weather conditions had se severed a leak in the piping and oil uh, was coming from the vehicle. The North Kingstown Fire Department, Police Department and Rhode Island DEM were on scene this afternoon. Chief Scott Cattell says they were able to stop the leak from the truck, but traffic was not allowed to pass through as the 500 foot section of the roadway was worked on. DEM spokesperson Mike Healy says North Kingstown DPW scraped the side of the road where oil had seeped into the dirt and collected it. I don't believe it got into any storm drains or is going to have an, an impact on our environment. Cattell says it was a busy day for the department. They responded to two nursing homes for water issues. At Lakeside Nursing and Rehabilitation, hot water pipes in the ceiling broke. And caused a ceiling collapse in a number of uh, patient rooms. So no one was injured. Uh, patients were relocated to other areas of the building. NBC 10 saw staff on scene working to fix the issue this afternoon and get the water back on. Meanwhile, with temperatures warming up from the cold snap, those out and about in Wickford say they're glad to see the frigid weather pass. It's a lovely day today compared to yesterday's freezing temperatures. With hope scenes like this one won't happen again anytime soon. Now the fire department says they also responded to Bayview rehabilitation for a sprinkler issue this afternoon. Live in North Kingstown, Katie Benoit, NBC 10 News.